Well, here's a mystery that has baffled Metro Police for eight years. Who murdered a man and left his body on the side of a road in South Nashville? As the investigation continues, News Channel 5's Emily Luxon talked with the victim's sister, who wants to make sure he is never forgotten. James was a kind, loving man. He never intentionally said set out to harm anyone. Tawana Lytle has fond memories of growing up with her oldest brother. But talking about his death is never easy. What would make someone take someone else's life? I, I don't understand that with any circumstance. Tawana says James loved animals and always enjoyed cooking. She will never forget the day she learned she would never see him again. A newscast came on about a 53-year-old man was found dead, been murdered, and I just immediately knew it was him. I, I can't, I can't say how or why, but I just knew it was him. On January 26, 2016, around 8:30 in the morning, a woman driving to work spotted a man lying on the side of the road at Pebble Creek Drive and Edjo Lake Drive. When Metro Police arrived, they determined the man was James Lytle, and he had been stabbed in the neck. They scoured the area for clues that would explain who killed him and why. When you have a body that is outdoors and has been outdoors for a number of hours, there is a meticulous collection process for evidence. Detectives later found James's car abandoned here on Sailboat Court. That's about 15 miles away from where he lived on Dickerson Pike. Through the years, new leads have been slow to develop. As Tawana waits, she has relied on her faith for strength. While she says she's forgiven the person who killed James, she still wants to know who it was. If someone could just come forward just to give us some information about what happened, then that would help, you know, somewhat with, with the additional closure. So it's not just something that's hanging out there. And she hopes one day all her lingering questions about her brother's death will finally be answered. At this point, I just want to know why. I just want to know what happened. Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. Thanks, Emily. If you have any information that can help detectives solve this case, please call Crime Stoppers or Metro Police as usual. We have both numbers for you on the screen. Remember, you can also remain anonymous.